Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are kicking off decorating in my kitchen and dining area and I'm going to be decorating our tiered trays. So I have three that I'm going to be decorating with you today. Two of them actually do go in our kitchen and then the other one, if you watched my last Christmas Decorate With Me video, that actually goes on the floor next to my desk. So anyways, I thought it'd be really fun to start off with some tiered trays. I know a lot of you are looking for some inspiration or ideas and I am so excited to share it with you. A little bit about the trays that I'm going to be styling with you. I have them all lined up here. They're so cute. But the smallest one is from the Target Dollar Spot. It seems like they are always coming out with new ones right now. This one is a few years old, but I love to bring it out for Christmas. This middle one is an Amazon. This is my absolute favorite tiered tray, and I actually own it in all of the colors, the brown and the black as well. But yeah, this one is just the easiest for me to decorate. I don't know what it is, it's just the perfect size. And then the last one is more of a one that I would say should go on the floor because it is, you can see, pretty large. But it is from Decor Steels and I will link it as well as the middle one down below just in case you are interested. I actually think I will end up decorating four tier trays for Christmas. I'll probably decorate another one of those middle ones, probably the wood if I had to guess, but I'm going to save that fourth tray for my Christmas home tour, which will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. But I think what we're going to do is just get started and go with the smallest to the largest. I have a bunch of stuff on the table to share with you that I'm going to try to use on these trays. So I don't know that I plan to use all of this on my trays, but you never know. It's just really nice to have it all accessible so you can, for lack of better words, plug and play with your tray. So we have all kinds of trees in different sizes, textures, colors, and I love to use ornaments. So just a fun variety there. Ornaments, measuring spoons. We have, these are actually napkin rings, but I love to use these as either like a base or a mini wreath on the trays. I did pick up these cookie press from Hearth and Hand. I thought those would be great. My mini cloches from Amazon. I cannot wait to share with you my ideas there. Santa mugs are always fun. This with little mini tray came from Hobby Lobby. You all told me I needed one of those, so we're gonna see what we can do there measuring cups and bowls and just different containers, ceramic houses, a lot of those you find at Target right now. They have a really good mix. Can't wait to use this little truck that I shared with you in my Hobby Lobby video. Picked up a few treats that we might add, these gingerbread men from Target. I ordered these Santa stirs from Amazon. And then I found just all the mini things that I thought might be fun to add as well. So this tray goes by my coffee maker, so I try to add a few, you know, coffee related things. This is actually a mini Santa mug that Target had many years ago. I have not seen them since, but they're like the perfect size for these mini trays. So we're gonna add the mug. And then I had these spoons on my hot cocoa bar last year. Add those. And then some of these Santa stir sticks from Amazon will be really cute for now. Let's see. That's kind of cute. So far, I think I'm going to fill up this snowman. I don't have any mini marshmallows, but I have like the teeny tiny ones. So I'm gonna grab those. Mallow bits. Got too many. 
have a cup of hot cocoa. Shoot. Snowman. I actually thrifted him from Goodwill a few years ago and I love to use him for hot cocoa. I am super happy with how this one turned out. Can't wait to go put it next to my Keurig, but the little house and the greenery, as well as that ceramic tree in the back, those were all older Target dollar spot finds, but the cutting board, you can find that at Hobby Lobby. For my Amazon tray, this is going to be our kitchen table centerpiece. So I plan to decorate all the way around and have it all look very nice. I actually do have a theme. I based it all on this sign that I made with my Cricut. This is actually a fall sign. I just popped a piece of scrap wood in that I painted and put a decal on. So I can link this SVG file, but we are going with the Claws Cookie Co. for this tray. And then I really liked how I had my fall one styled with these mini bowls and I'm going to do the same thing. Now these are beautiful bowls. These are from Target last year, Hearth and Hand. I don't know that they had them again. I was so sad about that. But I used them on my chicken wire shelf, but this year we're gonna use them on the tray. Took a bit, but I think I got the gingerbread men at least in an okay position. We had one casualty. I did taste them. I personally thought they were pretty gross, but they are so cute. So we're gonna put that right there and now we'll keep decorating. You'll notice I'm adding a lot of the bigger items that I know I for sure want on there. These measuring cups are from Hobby Lobby. Ooh, year or two ago. I honestly don't know if they have them again but I wanna place them up top. However, I want to kind of raise up some of these smaller ones a little bit, so I need to go find something. And it's kind of getting lost. Maybe we'll give it a little boost with these birch logs that you can also find at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so now I just need to give a little boost to my little cups. What can I use? Hobby Lobby mini cup. I think 
I want the handle to show. And then these are actually ornaments. They were sent to me last year from a subscriber. I think they're in the Target dollar spot, but I think they're the perfect size to fit in this little mini cup. I think we're ready to start working on the back before I add in my last filler pieces. So let's see if I can gracefully turn this around. I had this sugar candle from Kirkland's that I wasn't using and I figured that kind of works with my baking. And then we're going to try the mini tier tray now. I thought about putting it up top, but I think I like it better down below. But these are actually place card holders, but I'm actually going to use it to just put a few cute little baking themed items. fill in with some smaller items. I have these. Now these are ornaments from Hobby Lobby, but I took a pliers to this one and took the top and the bow off and I think it's pretty cute on its own. So I'm going to add that up here for a little pop of red and maybe some more trees. Oh, and I have another ornament. Oops. This one also was along with the rolling pin and the whisk. And where can we put that? I am super happy with this one as well. I love the front. I might change a couple things in the back, but it's not that big of a deal. But I just filled in with a lot of bottle brush trees. They've come from a lot of different places, Target, Hobby Lobby, Walmart had a few this year that I really liked the color of. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I have a completely different idea that I'm going to try. It was not planned, but I think it could look really cute. So last minute change of plans on this tray.
my plan is to do a village on this tear tray. And I'm going to keep it very simple. I have all of these ceramic houses. I'm pretty sure every single one of them is from Target over the years. A lot of the ones with the glitter tops you can find in the stores this year. But I think what I'm going to do is fill in a little bit with some of this faux snow. I may regret that, we'll see. And then some trees and maybe those black reindeer from the Target dollar spot. my mind I rotated the snowman and the deer around and I think I like that a lot better okay my friends that's going to be it for today's Christmas tear trays I think we got a lot done I for sure will be decorating tray number four though because there's one thing in particular this truck that I want to make sure to use so I will share that tray in my Christmas home tour but if you're looking for even more Christmas tear tray inspiration I've done a video like this the past few years so I will link a couple of those down below for you to go to watch next but as always if you enjoyed today's video hit that thumbs up button thank you so much for watching and I will see you later this week as I decorate our kitchen bye yeah.